let's say one minute and then I'm going to get started because I got shit to do today and I tend to ramble on live and I kind of want to bring that in. Um, okay, so I want to wait a minute, literally like a minute, and then we're going to get started. So I am live on Facebook. Say hello, hello in the chat. Please let me know that you're here. I will say hello first. If you can't say hello, I think you can. I think it comes up in the chat. I'm not 100% sure. But it will be nice just to hear a hello. And when I get my first hello, I'm going to get started. And I'm going to talk about my three favorite, favorite tools. But I would love to get a hello, Karima. Good morning. Good morning to you. Um, that would be very nice. Do we have a hello? Thank you, Jan. Hey, D. I just did it this morning. <laughs> I was like, let me get it together. I have not been on live all week, and I really wanted to feel good about being on live today. So I was like, I'm going to do my hair. So I did it, and I tried to actually trim it on my own. That's why the, in, the curls is in, the curls is in, the ends are curled. Um, yeah, so I can get it popping. Okay, so I'm going to just get, jump right into it and get started. I am talking about my three favorite tools to use, like productivity hacks that we'll have going on here. And the very first one is Notion. I am a Notion queen. I stay in Notion. No, I do not work for Notion. Yes, I have an affiliate link that like gives me like a small credit, but I'm not getting paid for this. That's how much I love Notion. So I'm going, I'm going to show you all of the different things that you can do in Notion. And it's just like a super duper um, like Google Doc on crack. Like it's just like a supercharged document. I use it to work with my clients. I use it to work with, um, like to like stock my ideas and have them organized. And so, what I'm going to show everybody today is the vault, and I'm going to show something. Also, I use it as a freebie tool, like a freebie template. So let me go ahead and show that screen. Wow. Okay. So we're in Notion. Um, you can do a lot of stuff inside of Notion. What I tend to use it the most for is document creation. I actually built my website in Notion, my old website. I have a new website now, y'all. I built my website in Squarespace. That's done. So, But this is my old site. And I built all of this just in Notion. So I needed to get started. I needed like to go, right? And I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to um, like let this Notion, like let it be in the way of me kind of like getting stuff done. Having a website, oops, let me make this smaller. Do I smoke? Why is this here? No, I do not smoke. Um, and so I'm going to show you all the different things that you can do with a Notion. So here's a site. Um, and it looks like this, like it has this button here because you're looking, I'm looking at it from the perspective of, of me building it. But as a user, you won't see that. And I also have an embed where you, people can sign up to my email list. And then when I go live, you can also see the stream, which I don't know why it says it's currently off because I am, oops, let me exit out of it, because I am live now. But, um, oh, here it is. So now if someone is on my page and they're visiting, they can see my stream, which I think is pretty dope. You can even see how many people are watching it. Then I have like, you know, my social links, what we can do, and I have a footer. All of this is in Notion. Then we can we can tone it down and make it simple. So I had a lunch and learn, and I host a lunch and learn every Friday from twelve to one, and I really talk about we just talk talk through marketing problems. I want to make this small. There we go. We talk through marketing problems. We talk through um, any issues that you know like as a business owner, marketing wise that you may, may, may or may not be going through. And it's really just my way to build myself up and learn how I can best help people because I offer services. So I'm not doing, my services are more about implementation. I'm not doing implementation in these calls. I'm just saying, maybe you should do this. So maybe you should try that out. Um, so here are like the notes that I have. You can embed links. It's a very like informal notes, right? 
So another way you can manage stuff is I have a client and for my client, I have a, a, a setup where how to use a notion. So I have a video of how to use notion. And then I have um, a breakdown of all the different things that the client can access. So they can access, um, let's say I did a traffic funnel for them so they can see exactly what traffic is going to look like, right? So if they, ever, if they ever have questions, Karima, why are we doing this? Why is it set up this way? I can refer them back to the big picture of the traffic funnel, the campaign, the campaign messaging to the organic traffic, paid traffic to the page, and so on and so forth to get people to vote. So that's one thing. Um, another thing you can build is I have a to-do list in Notion. So you, if you like Kanban, um, which I love Kanban style, you can get stuff started in a to-do list. So I have the completed, which actually I can move. This is not even updated. I have did this I did this I did this sorry I'm just like well I might as well get some shit done I finished that so that way if the client is ever like what were you doing um of course notion is first Ryan like of course it's, it's my thing um the client's like what were you doing well it's like hey these are the things that I'm doing and one thing I haven't even tried to do with notion is like supercharge it with Zapier, and which I should just log into Zapier and see what you can do. But like, I don't even need it right now because I'm just maintaining the bare minimum um, as far as like what my client can see. And then also I have like a digital plan, plan that my client can see so they can see what the, our goals are, how we measure our goals, the budget, all that stuff. All in one like format in Notion. What else do we have here? Campaign assets. So I actually like keeping assets in Trello, but you know this is a good way to keep like um, all of the things that you need in your campaign in one place. Also, I have another Google Drive folder where I have all this stuff. But like I have the tracking information, the Facebook Pixel, the Google Analytics. I have a link to the Google Drive here. Oh, I have tracking here twice. Okay, so yeah, there's something like oh the colors and typography. So I have the fonts that I use, the numbers that the, the team uses, and then I don't actually have their font because they don't have one, but I would normally have like a, a font here. And our alarm is going off, I don't know why. So that's my favorite thing, Notion. Notion is my number one, number one tool to like log in with. It's my number one thing. I don't know, okay, our house alarm is going off and I hope that someone stops it because I don't want to get up to stop it, but I know it's because somebody opened the door. Okay, so let's just double check before we move on to the next tool um, in Zapier to see what I can automate. So search for this app, Connect Notion. Is it even in here? Oh, it's not even in here, y'all. So that's something. Um, I'm not disappointed. It looks like you're building Trello functionality into Notion, the sauna functionality into Notion. Why? It's simple because you can do all in one place. Um, so for me personally, um, I know that like this is like kind of more of a portfolio thing for me. My client is like not savvy, right? They're not tech savvy. So you know, if they ever need to do like, see what I'm doing, I can just update this list for them. Um, the biggest hard to get excited about Notion is that, I mean, you can't write out a whole document in. So I'm about to show you another Notion page I have while we're here. So I have a Notion vault and my vault is like where all of this stuff is, y'all. All of this stuff. So I have a difference, like my freebie, my dot-com secret freebie is in here. I have another freebie I'm going to give out about Facebook groups. I just haven't um, gotten around to like sharing that publicly. But um, so here it is. Here's my Facebook group notes. And um, you see, you can't do this inside of Trello or Asana. Like you can't, I have, hey, here's a, like a... a a call out basically I can change the thing like I'm glad to have you here you're learning just like a, a way to get people's attention in the very beginning then I did this for a class so basically I just said hey you can join my list 
if you want to. It's another bonus in here. And I can just have this as a regular um, a regular thing, but I'd rather have like a regular, ooh, we signed up to my list, but I'd rather like deliver more value if you actually want it. And if you don't want it, that's fine because I, I don't want you on my list if you don't. Who doesn't want value, right? And this is from ConvertKit. So I just embedded this from ConvertKit. So you see how, you know, they're different like setup so there's pimp your profile set up your group blah 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 you see and then i have embedded links exhibit oh yeah i thought that was funny i thought that was like fitting but this is like a, a google doc basically but it's just beefed up like it feels different it feels more functional and then when you click okay so i have um writing your welcome sequence right I have here, I didn't even realize I did this. I already wrote, I was gonna do, I'm gonna do a challenge of writing a welcome sequence. And I was like starting to write my notes. And I was like, you already did this, Karima. It's just crazy. But um, I have like notes inside of notes, right? Like you can't really do that. And then you can just navigate back at the top. So if you ever get lost, you're like, okay, okay. And you can just go right back. So pimp your profile, grow your group, and then I have um, groups to join, so I have links here of groups that I would recommend um, you know, black women service providers join. You can't do any of this in Google Docs. And then I have a, a, a chart right here of all my favorite tools on Facebook, like to use um, on Facebook, like different, um, what's it called? Like different websites, how to do comment funnels, how to collect email um, addresses, from when they enter in your group. Like I have all that here on one page. Um, so yes, this is my favorite tool, number one of all tools. So my second, I wanna restreams in here. Wow, my favorite tools aren't even in here. <laughs> they aren't even in Zapier. Yeah, it's not even here. Okay, so restream is my second favorite tool. Um, and I like Restream because it's simple. It's real simple. It's really easy. You stream to multiple platforms at once. So right now, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Twitter and I'm on YouTube. Usually, I'm also on um, Twitch, but I changed my password, so I got to reconnect my API key, whatever. There are different things you can do with Restream. One thing that I think I see Carmen and Ari do is if you go to Live Studio... You can add like you can add graphics, like an overlay to your restream for free, and then the graphics will or is it captions? And the captions will say um, right here, Karima Digital. Turn your notifications on. Be notified when I go live. Be in this bitch, okay? So basically. You can do this and restream, and that's free branding. You don't have to create a whole overlay. For me, I think in the top right is my my logo, which I'm probably going to change. Um, I'm just trying out different things, and I, I'm probably going to make my own overlay here because um, I'm just that difficult. I just like to do things the hard way sometimes, y'all. But um, restream is just it's really easy, y'all. Like if you are going live. At any time you need this tool, it's free. Um, I have my affiliate link posted on Facebook at least and YouTube and on Twitter. I reply under with my links posted, and it's just it just makes sense. And then, so what I really love about it is that your stuff goes to YouTube, and then when your stuff like it automatically saves on YouTube, so you don't have to worry about storage like. For me, when I first started doing videos, in the very beginning, I was doing like study with me videos where I would record myself doing Pomodoro technique studying, 25 minutes on, 5 minutes, 25, 5 minutes, fine, dandy. But the storage for videos is crazy, and I did not anticipate that because it's just not my realm. Um, I, I want to move my light closer. I think it's better. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. This thing's a little dark still. I don't know, my ring light ain't ringing. 
Slay. Hey, Mark. Oh, for so the affiliate program for Restream is just um, a link. Like, it's literally already inside of your thing, and it's a link. And for some reason, they already have much later going live and no editing. Yeah, they already have... Um, they already have two people that I referred before they had a referral program in here. So weird, but hey, it worked. So yeah, Restream's easy. Um, who told me about Restream? Mark told me about Restream. Mark or Doc? I think definitely it was Mark. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate you. Um, the live stream tools that I've been coming into are um, amazing. And I have more and more to share. I need to actually apply some before I share them so I can make sure that it, like, it works right. Before I might go do this, but I have some more things coming. So my last and number three tool is Trello. So um, I'm going to click on this right now. So Trello is like, okay. So Trello, I've, I've started to work with Asana, working with Ari, and I do like Asana a lot. I like the way that it like compiles into the list, especially when I'm just trying to look and see, okay, what am I getting done today? I like how you can just check off on a list or what have you. And you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, that's done. And maybe you can do that in Trello. And maybe I haven't like unlocked the full Trello potential. Shoot me. But, you know, Trello, I just end up always going back to because I just feel more comfortable um, interacting in Trello. I've built multiple boards in Trello. And actually, the good, good stuff that I built is gone because it was tied to my old account which was tied to my old job, and long story short, I don't have access to it anymore, but you know what? Like, we can rebuild. So this is a Trello. I'm actually working on templatizing. I built this for um, Lanier, and we are working together to get her on, like, her implementation or her email stuff started, but, like, this is something that I am going to duplicate and, you know, give away as a freebie, for clients that are like that are needing to get organized. Did you get anything? Did, did you get anything with Notion before I sign up? Oh, it's a it's an affiliate link. I think we both get like five dollars or something like that. I can't remember. I can look and see when I'm done. Um, so with Trello, it's like a big brain. Like, here's my brain. That's how I feel about Trello. Like, here, brain, go. And it's like just a better visual. So like for here, for Lanier, we have her logo, her brand colors. So whenever, like, she, if she ever works with another marketer or a designer, all of her things are in one place. There won't be like, I got to get this here. I got to get this here. Because when you're building a landing page, these are, um, it's already in the, um, in Facebook, it's already in the caption. But these are the things that you need to have together. You need to have the font, which I have to write in here. You need to like have any banners, any social templates, any stock photos. All of these things are the things that you want to have before you work with someone. Because then it's like they can really flow, go in there, build your landing page, build you whatever you need to be built with all of your branding together. Also, the things you want to have are your, your Google Analytics, your UI, your UA code number, and you want to have your Facebook pixel information so that they can be placed on your pages. Um, and like one thing that, another thing Ari was saying, I was like, what I need Facebook pixel for, I'm not running ads, but like when you do wanna run ads, then you already have an audience that you can target. Listen, all right. So um, I have workflows in here. You can see like the workflow that I have set up. And I think what I might do is even something like a, a doc that links inside of here that talks like deeply about it. Um, and then I have resources. So welcome sequence examples. And I have both of our Zoom meeting. And then we have all the tools and how to log into these tools right here. What I would suggest if you do choose to have your password um, on Trello is to do two-factor authentication. I forget how to do that. Don't judge me. I did it at one point. Um, but yeah, basically a two factor authentication. And then also I'm using Trello to plan a launch for a client. So, well, I'm going to just show it over there. So Tara, don't beat me up. Um, so basically we have a small team and we, um, I still have to finish this out, but every team member has like their different tasks. And then when they're done, 
we just move it to done, right? And um, and it's just that simple. And it's other integrations like with the Butler, you can do a lot of different stuff with the Butler and Trello. And maybe what I'll do is come back next week and then do like a Trello hacks type of thing where you can I can show you um, how to like automate your board because it's something I did with my old employer, which is really really helpful for our team. So rewind it. Recap. Number one, I should put Zapier as number four because Zapier is my shit. But number one is Notion. Notion, Notion, Notion. Try it out. You can use it for so many different things. You can use it for like a knowledge base and documentation. And actually Notion's knowledge base is built in Notion. So if you want to see what a knowledge base looks like, go look at Notions. And you can use that like for clients or for programs or teams or anything that you have. Bow. Second thing is Restream. Restream is amazing. You can connect and stream to four. No, I lied. I connect and stream to four different platforms at once. It's unlimited. Like if you go to their thing and connect, it, like hold on, add channel. I'm about to show y'all. It's so many. LinkedIn, like Daily Motion, whatever the hell that is. All of this stuff. Pickcart, Instagive. Breaker, I heard a breaker before. Major League, all of these things. You can just you can restream to multiple platforms. If you want to stream straight to a group, you do have to um pay uh for that capability. But you know, you can just share if you make your profile public, just share it in the group. You know what I'm saying? So that's number two. Number three is Trello. Trello is very beautiful. You can plan many things in here. So this is like what I'm using to plan a launch. Let's go back home. This is also like when I'm for workflows and systems, what I'm using to manage and work with my clients. So these are the things that clients that do, the things that I need to do. So it's very transparent of like, okay, what we're working on and where we are. And then managing like your data, like your, your brand building information. Um, and number three is oh that was Trello and then number four I'm just going to honorable mention Zapier zap it up like Zapier is it's just so amazing it's just it just makes life so much easier although I'm stuck right now on doing paths motion restream and Trello I'm gonna sauna gobble and try Trello out I like the sauna a lot like I really do um but I keep going back to Trello I like the sauna for what, what I'm doing in in the coaching aspect and like getting through lists, but like for certain things, I just keep going back to Trello and it's been like a, a year or so that I've been going back and forth with Trello. So I'm not going, I'm not going to fake on my roots, even though like if I do ever sell something in Trello or like sell a template in Trello, I'll have it available in Asana too, just to make sure that people feel comfortable. Honorable mention here is, um, is Zapier and I can I wish that like someone could ask me like what kind of zap should I set up then I can show you um all the different things that you can do with Zapier so let's just say Twitter I can connect Twitter with Google Sheets when what is my tweet when I tweet, I can create a spreadsheet row. So I can dock all my tweets like that. I'm just like doing something random. I wouldn't do that. That's not really useful. Sorry, guys. But oh, here's one I was setting up the other day. In Calendly, when someone books in Calendly, I can create a project in Dubsado. So invites he created. I can create a project in Devsado, and then that will have to start a whole thing. Zapier is, I guess, like, because I work in Zapier so much, my confidence of how good I am is a little bit lower than it should be because I be getting stuck, y'all. Like, I be trying to go extra hard with, like, the formulas. I be like, and then I be like, and then it be like, not working. I'm like, God. Damn it, why aren't you working? Okay, so I got the basics down. That's easy. But I try out like paths and filters and just like, you know, the next level shit. 
and I'd be like kicking myself in the ass. And so because of that, I haven't like tried to teach anybody anything with Zapier. What are the trailer parts that keep you going back to it? The visual is the visual. It's like, and I think Asana has this too, and I haven't played around with it, but it's just like the, the visual parts of Trello and like, it's more of like a resource board kind of place than like a functional place that I've used it for. Um, but it's really just like the, the visual that's keeping me, the background, like the little stuff like that is just keeping me um, with Trello. So I was trying to only do this for a certain amount of time. I really wanted to be quick with it today. I wanted to be efficient today. It's been almost 30 minutes. I'm going to be out this bitch. And I will see you all later. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you all coming. I will put links to the bottom of for each platform that I talked about today. I will also put a link to my services page if you want to book me to do any of the implementation work with these kinds of platforms. Um, just let me know. I'm open for booking. And that's it. I hope everyone has a wonderful, beautiful day. And I hope everyone makes lots of money. Lots of money, lots of clients, lots of dough. All right, bye.